This episode of Techno Buffalo is brought to you by Citrix GoToAssist, the number one global market leader in remote support. What's up, everyone? John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo here. We get a ton of products every year to review. Most of them, though, need to be charged via a micro USB cable. We've got something special here that not only gets us out of the office, but let's just do something pretty fun. We're taking a look at the Z Board Pro. It is an all electric skateboard, and it is all awesome. So a few weeks ago, the folks from Z-Board reached out to see if we were interested in taking a look at their Z-Board Pro. And of course, my first reaction was, hell yes! If 13-year-old me knew this was gonna exist, I would be super excited. I foolishly ran home, told my wife, we're getting an electric skateboard, to which she said, you have to wear a lot of protective padding. And then this came in and I tried it, and I realized it's really easy to use uh, and seems surprisingly safe if you're not super klutzy or stupid. So let me tell you a little bit about this guy. So there are a couple versions of the Z-Board available. We've got the Z-Board Pro. There's a regular Z-Board uh, as well. This guy starts at $949. It can go up to 17 miles per hour, which is pretty fast. Uh, you can get up to 10 miles of range with it. It weighs a pretty reasonable 25 pounds. Plug it into just a regular 110 wall out. It's gonna take about five to six hours. If you want to opt for the classic though, it's a few hundred dollars cheaper at $649. The Z-Board is actually a crowdfunded project. It was asking for $100,000 and they raised $278 and I can totally see why. So let's take a look at the board and then I'm just going to hop on it and start riding. So a few things to take a look at down here. You've got two pads. Stepping on this one is essentially your go pad. Uh, when you put your foot on this, it starts to move. This one is going to sort of do a reverse thrust, uh, which can be your brake or just go in reverse. To make sure you're safe at night, they also have three uh, LED lights on the back so anybody can see you. Being electric and having sort of that instant torque, I was really worried this is going to feel like when you step on it. But you get gradual speed, you're not suddenly thrust forward. And the more you step on it, the more pressure you put, the faster you're going to go. So you can still control it. You don't have to use any silly sort of hand control uh, to make sure you move. Plugs in really easy, there's an adapter right here, three prong, that plugs into a wall. It's got a power switch to turn that sucker on and uh, you are good to go. You can hear a light hum and you're on your way. So enough about me talking. Usually you see me with phones. You're gonna see how coordinated or not coordinated I am. And I'm sorry, sweetheart. I'm gonna ride the Z-Board sans pads. Let me stop my gnarly shreds for a minute to thank our friends at GoToAssist. With GoToAssist remote support, you can provide live and unattended, most importantly, remote support to any computer or mobile device. So you can be just relaxing on the beach and pretend like you're at the office. Screen share with employees to diagnose and fix their support problems faster and more effectively. And use GoToAssist apps to deliver support anytime, anywhere from your iPhone, iPad, or Android device. GoToAssist is super easy to use and sets up in less than a minute, whether you're supporting just one coworker, 10 employees, or even a thousand, you know, if you're a baller like that. Sign up today for a free 30 day trial, no contract, no credit card needed. Visit gotoassist.com and click the try it now free button and try it. Uh, after your free trial, if you purchase GoToAssist before October 31st, use promo code GOTOASSIST3030 to receive 30% off the standard monthly rate. Boom. So as a kid, I used to ride a skateboard, but I'm certainly no skater, and it's been quite a few years since I last stood on one of these. So let's give it a shot, uh, and I'll show you what it looks like. It's powered on, I can wheel a little bit. Again, the back one's gonna be reverse, the front pad's gonna be set you off to go. So I'll go ahead and step on it, and you start moving really gradually. You can put as much pressure as you want, and you just move and ride it like a regular skateboard. It's really natural uh, to ride. And you can go, like I said, it's got a range of 10 miles. You can go pretty far on this thing. Um, go ahead and go a little faster. You can turn anything you can do on a regular skateboard. So it's really simple. That's all there is to it. They made this dead easy for anybody to ride. Put your foot on the front, you go forward. Take your foot off, you'll slowly coast or tap your foot back a little bit and you're going to stop. Super easy. So this thing might not have a 4K screen. It might not have a 12 or 60 megapixel camera with optical image stabilization. It might not have a Snapdragon 805, but this thing has a lot of fun. This is probably one of the most enjoyable reviews I have ever done. We've been riding this thing around the office for a couple weeks now, just going from room to room, just riding it around because it's way more fun than walking. Uh, Z-Board nailed this one, hit it way out of the park. 
If you've got the money, it is a worthwhile investment. It is a ton of fun. Great way to get around a college campus. Great way to just get from place to place. If you take a bus to work and you want to get there and back, it's light enough that you could just sort of carry it. 25 pounds, it's not overly heavy. Handle makes it way easier. It's got some cushion on it. And just an enjoyable thing to have. It's a fun toy. And the kidding me? Can't believe I got to actually review this for a job. Thank you guys for watching. If you want to see more videos from people who just love technology, hit the big subscribe button right here. We put up videos almost every single day. If you want to see us play video games, albeit sometimes a bit poorly, check us out at our Twitch channel at twitch.tv slash technobuffalo. Link's also right down below.